or excuse yeah arkansas yeah um so uh um i like my team um we're uh we're uh, we're really young um and a lot of new guys out there um let's see nine freshmen and sophomores in my top 10 uh and uh they worked really hard um we got a lot to learn uh we're gonna have to see what kind of step up we have now that we enter in a, in a conference play can we step up physically um athletically um you know obviously um we played several really good mid-major teams but but only uh, Gonzaga uh, and Memphis and Central Florida would probably mirror um, some of the size and the athleticism that we're going to see um, every night, you know, in the SEC. Um, but I, 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 our kids have really responded um, to, uh, to the opportunity. And, um, you know, we know we're going to go up against an undefeated Arkansas team um, that, you uh, won't get enough credit for the schedule they played. They played a lot of really good teams that a lot of people would be afraid to play against, even though they played them at home. Uh, those teams can beat you, whether it be Oral Roberts or, you know, uh, Central Arkansas or, or uh, um, uh, North Texas, you, you know, UT Arlington. Abilene Christian was in a tournament a year ago. So, um, you know, Arkansas leads, the, you know, everything, scoring and three-point shooting and offensive rebounding and, Coach Musselman does a great job. Um, I can tell you that our win last year at Arkansas uh, was one of the biggest wins we had all season long and one of the hardest ones to get. Okay, we're going to start off with Mark Murphy. Yeah, Coach, can you talk about the team's three-point shooting and the potential to get that number up during the season? Well, I mean, I, as, the SC, as we get an SEC play, you know, right now we're making nine a game, which is a lot. You know, I would be thrilled if we could continue to average making nine. Um, I don't know that our shooting percentages are going to go up uh, or improve just simply because of the, you know, the quality of the defenses that we're going to be playing against. Um, you know, Arkansas is fourth in the country in block shots, um, and um, they they uh, they do a great job defending the three ball because of their length and the, the ball pressure, the quickness that they have. So. Um, yeah, I would love to see a couple of our guys that are better shooters by percentage shoot better. Um, and um, um, whether it be David Cambridge or Jamal Johnson or uh, JT Thor, Jalen Williams, I think all those guys can shoot uh, a better percentage than what they're shooting. Um, it's just that it's, it's hard to ask them to do that now that we're starting conference play. Okay, next up is Nathan King. Hey, Bruce. I was wondering what your conversations were like last week with uh, with Tyrell kind of ahead of his decision and, and what kind of player you think he can be with whatever he decides to do next. Well, I just, I just wish him the best. And um, Tyrell is a, was a hard worker, a great kid, a really good teammate. Um, and I just think he got in a situation where uh, we were asking him to play point guard and he found himself behind JP and Al. Um, and then um, with Sharif, his eligibility hasn't, there has not been a decision rendered yet, but we're hopeful there will be one. Um, that put him in a, in, a, in a tough spot there. And then to try to work him in off the ball um, was difficult in, right in the middle of the season. Uh, because we had other guys that had gotten a lot of reps there, whether it be Chris Moore, Alan Flanagan, Devin Cambridge, Jamal Johnson. So um, um, he just uh, just didn't see the opportunity to play as much as he wanted to, and and uh, we wish him nothing but the, but the best. Great kid. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, next up is Bob Holt of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Uh, hey, Bruce, how you doing? Bob, how are you? Your, your beard looks looks good. Um, hey, um, Alan Flanagan, he's obviously an Arkansas kid. Looks like he's taking a pretty big leap. How, how's he played for you, and what do you think this game uh, means to him playing his home state team? Well, I think Alan is, uh, 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 as much as anybody on our team, is taking advantage of the opportunity. Um, 
he uh, backed up uh, Isaac Coro last year. And of course, Isaac was the fifth player taken in the NBA draft. Um, went against him every day. Uh, went against him in, in the offseason as Isaac trained here in Auburn through the summer and the fall. Um, and I think that really, really helped out. Um, Al's also, um, you know, been, been asked to play that point guard position, which puts the ball in his hands a little bit more. Um, and, and he likes it. Um, he's good with the ball. Uh, he's been uh, patient offensively. I get into the lane. He can score. Um, he can pass. He can make a tough two. He's unselfish. Uh, I'm sure Arkansas is going to try to, you know, press our young, uh, inexperienced point guards. Everybody has because um, we don't have Sharif. And so our point guards that we've seen pressure, they've seen a lot of ball pressure, run and jump uh, to make those, you know, you know, younger point guards have to make decisions. But very, very happy for Allen. Nobody's worked harder in the offseason. Um, throughout the COVID spring, he was in the gym constantly, um, you know, getting his individual, you know, workouts. And obviously, physically, he's got an SEC body. So he's been, a, he's been his elevated play from a year ago to this year has been a big part of the reason why we've been competitive so far. You think he's got a little extra juice for the, for the Hogs? You know, I'm, I'm sure when you play your hometown or your, your home state team, there, there is. Um, but I think, I think, you know, just knowing that we're entering into the SEC, um, there's uh, uh, you know, everybody, I think, is going to be uh, uh, elevated. Thanks. Hey, Coach, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.